Good day and welcome to another episode of Procon Know-How. In today's episode, we'll look at tapered concrete beams in Sumo and yeah, just what you can do and how you do it. My name is Jakobus Oberrolster. I'm an AEC and Procon technical consultant with Micrographics. You also see my email address listed on the current or within the current window and you're welcome to contact me directly if you have any questions. Other than that, please hit the like button if you like what you see. Subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of content we bring out on a monthly basis. And also leave something, something in the comment section. If you have questions or even recommendations, you really are most welcome to do so. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into Sumo. I've got a cool model over here. It's a very basic concrete model. I've got my lines that will serve as references just for my tapered section. And I've got my different concrete profiles loaded in. So what I'll do in structure, I'll go to beam and you'll see in the beams properties panel, you've got section start, section mid and section end. Now how it'll work is you've got your profile represented at the start and that profile will taper upwards or downwards towards the section mid. And from the section mid, it will taper upwards or downwards to section end. But you don't have to use section mid. You can purely make use of section start or end so section start being what it is i'll change that to the deeper section and then my section end will be a 300 by 500 and then with the correct snapping functions i can actually snap to these points and you'll see actually how they taper and that's very cool. You can actually do that with steel sections as well. And it's also that similar workflow that you'll follow when detailing or actually modeling in your haunches. Now, if you want the tops to be flush, you either can make use of solids or you can create a special profile within ProSec, which I wouldn't really recommend being the best option but solids could be quite a good option. And I'll put a link in the description to a clip where there's a very cool workflow that you can follow to actually create those solids very easily. But now with these tapered sections in place, what you can do is you can work with them as you would with any beam. So I'm gonna add a, let's say between brackets, a, just a stiffener beam over here to reduce the effective length of that section right for whatever reason right and you've got that over there and now i can just assign loads so i'm going to make these uh, 50 kilo newtons i'm just going to snap them to each of those tips right and these sections are actually very big so i can even make them more so make them 100 kilo newtons all right then run my analysis right this is just a normal linear analysis and you can see there that well that deflection is really really small and yeah the deflections are actually minimal in this model also because it is quite a stiff model right it's quite um, those uh, 300 by 900 that's quite a large beam as well but Previous times, you actually couldn't connect in on a tapered section. Uh, you couldn't connect any element in between its start and end location. And that's changed now, it seems, which is really great. It actually widens the workflow a bit, which is epic. But that's it. Really as simple as that. Don't pay any attention to, to the silly models just for reference. But that's it. That's how you'd model in a tapered sections. You can do the same thing with steel sections. There might be some limitations somewhere along the line. But I, what, from what I can see is Procon has only improved on the limitation, uh, improved on uh, reducing the limitations of this particular workflow. So there you have it, tapered beam sections within the Sumo space, or rather tapered concrete beam sections within the Sumo workspace. That's what you, that's what you need. That's what you need to do. So check out the, the, the links in the description just for that other clip that uh, we also have on uh, how to create those uh, solids that can really help you model uh, that section over there with the tops of the beams flush that is possible and yeah that's it so yeah please leave a like and feel free to leave a comment otherwise i hope that you enjoyed this 
and I'll check you in future clips.